Tonya Hogner Weevil has spent the last 20 years in front of her sewing machine creating traditional Cherokee clothing. She's best known for her women's tear dresses. But Tonya's textile work tells the story of the Cherokee people through time. I'm Tonya Hogner Weevil. I'm the education director at the Cherokee Heritage Center, and I'm a national treasure designated in textiles and was given the honor in 2012. My history of sewing comes from my mother, who taught me to embroider and uh, to do handwork, which was what most people my age and older knew how to do. You first learn to do handwork. So you start slow. And I, like very, very many other women of my age, took home ec in high school. And that's where I learned to sew. I create Cherokee clothing from all time periods. Typically, the biggest thing that I do are tear dresses. Tear dress is considered today the official dress for Cherokee women. It is typically a cotton print or calico dress that is embellished with ribbons and diamond cut works and all of our beautiful Cherokee women wear these dresses to represent the Cherokee culture. Today, almost all of our ambassadors wear tear dresses, our girls, Miss Cherokee, Junior Miss Cherokee, and all of our little Miss Cherokees, they all typically have a tear dress. The history of the tear dress is very curious because it is not a traditional dress that we wore in the 1800s. It is a likeness of a working woman's or utilitarian dress. Every piece of a tear dress is either square or rectangle, thus making it very easy to tear the fabric to make the dress. People want to call it a tear dress because of the trail of tears, and most people think that that's the style of clothing that was worn on the removal, but that's not true. Once the removal came, I'm sure it was hard times, and the recovery period from the removal forced those women to wear whatever they had. But as time progressed, the tear dress never really played a significant space in our historical cl Cherokee clothing. It was not until the 1950s and 60s when there was a revival of Cherokee resurgence. When the Cherokee Youth Choir was designated, they had 50 children in the Cherokee Youth Choir, and all of those children needed to be dressed. Wendell Cochran was designated as the costumer, and he asked me to make dresses because they had to have 50 outfits right away. So I was hired to make tear dresses. It came at a time when it was a real blessing to me, and I had two small children, and I didn't have a job. And it saw me through a real hard time. In a big way, tear dresses helped me financially and uh, mentally. And when I began to sew for the choir this massive amount of tear dresses, I am a night owl, and so I wake up about midnight. And that's my most productive time. So that's when I would sew, because I didn't have a job, and I would just sew through the night and my children would sleep at my feet. So, um, it was, uh, it's a, just a real special memory. I've worked at the Cherokee Heritage Center since 2000, and I have a long legacy with the Heritage Center. I really like my job. If anybody's ever driven out to the Heritage Center, and you think, ooh, I could drive out here every day and work. That's what I think every morning when I go to work. I love my job and I love what I do. I was asked to help design the clothing for Delacroix. So I was able to do that. We were able to match because of the time period, 1710. We would have been trading. And so we would have had access to textiles. So you'll see deerskin and textiles, deerskin and a linen shirt. And that was very typical of that time period and what men were wearing. I, I take this as a huge responsibility because we're going to have hundreds of thousands of people come in the next 20 years to Delaval. And they're going to see these clothes, they're going to see the villagers, and they're going to remember them as this is what a Cherokee is. They're going to forget what people said, but they're going to have taken a picture or they'll have in their mind's eye 
this is what a Cherokee looks like. So I began to research Cherokee clothing. There is not one book that says, this is how Cherokee's dressed in 1500. You have to search those things. And when you read accounts of Cherokee history, it took a lot of research. And the more I researched, the more I wanted to know. And the more I realized how little I did know. And I really went on about a year long search to find out what Cherokee men and women would have worn in 1710. In 2013, I was asked to help costume Nanya He, a musical play by Becky Hobbs. And that was a lot of fun too. And my major is theater. So to be involved in musical theater was real delightful for me. So I costumed the show that just recently played. And Cherokee people especially have a gift to share with each other. And if that's through art or clothing or whatever it is, I'm proud to be part of that because the small things that I do may have an impact on someone younger than I am. And hopefully that will perpetuate Cherokee clothing. Our people were aesthetically pleasing and practical. So we're all those things. And just as our clothing were those things, so are our people. And I'm proud to be part of that.